What's going on, everybody? Jeff here from Empire Jeff TV, back with another episode. And I want to touch on something that uh, a lot of people haven't really spoken on this offseason that I think is important for the Lakers. Uh, but before I do that, if you are new to the channel, uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, hopefully this becomes a place for you in the future. So uh, let's get back to talking about the Lakers and their youth. Uh, the Lakers are younger this year. Uh, matter of fact, they are the 13th youngest team in the league. And uh, last year, they did get younger after the trade deadline. But prior to the trade deadline, they were older with Russ and uh, Pat Bev there. So their uh, their average age for most of the season was was higher than it probably should have been. So this year, they are the 13th youngest team in the league, which is, you know, a little below the middle of the pack. And typically in the NBA, those are a lot of places where you don't want to be, especially when it comes to wins. Uh, you want to be at the top, at the bottom, but not really in the middle. But when it comes to average age, you really want to be somewhere in the middle if you can. You don't want to be so young uh, that you don't really, you know, our team doesn't really know how to play. They're not pros yet. And you don't want to be so old that teams can run you off the court. So you want that balance of both. So the Lakers, you know, sitting here, you know, with the 13th youngest team in the league with an, uh, with an average age of uh, 25.7 years old. And that's even with old-ass LeBron James on their team. So um, to put into perspective right now, the, uh, the youngest team in the league are the Portland Trailblazers at 23.9 years of age. And the oldest, <laughs> of course, the Los Angeles Clippers are the oldest team in the league. They got the oldest knees in the league. They got the newest toilets in the league. But, hey, we'll leave that alone for now. So let's get back to this and why I think it's important. Uh, looking over this Laker roster, and when you go through the ages of the players, they're like pockets of the same number here, uh, but they trickle down. So it's like take LeBron out of there at 39 years old. You got AD at 30, Prince at 29, and you got the 27 range with D'Lo and Gabe Vincent. And then you got the 25ers with Rui and Austin Reeves. And then when you get down to like Vanderbilt, Cam Reddish, you know, being 24, Jackson Hayes, 23, uh, Castleton, 23, Max Lewis um, is 21, Jalen Huchifino, 20, Max Christie, 20. So you've got all the way, you've got, you've got a guy in the team who's damn near double the age of their rookie and their second year guy, which is crazy, right? Basically old enough to be a father to them. So, um, but outside of that, the balance of the age on this roster is really good as well as the positions on the roster. So I really like when I see, when I look up and down the ages of this roster, because the Lakers can do multiple things. They can run when they need to run. They can slow it down when they need to slow it down. They've got balance. They've given tools here to coach Darvin Ham that he could really work with. And uh, I think it's going to, it's going to truly help him in his second year of coaching. And I think that he will overcome some of the shortcomings that he had in his first season as a Lakers coach. And let's talk about at the top where you got LeBron 39, AD 30, and all these guys below them that I think are going to really help Bron and AD this season. I think they will play less minutes. I think their usage rate should be lower. Um, should, <laughs> you know, hopefully LeBron will accept the fact to allow his usage rates to drop. I uh, wouldn't mind seeing AD obviously take a little bit more, uh, you know, kind of take that torch from LeBron. We'll see if LeBron's going to do that or not this year with him being 39 and maybe wanting to extend his career a little bit longer. I think the best thing for him would be to kind of let these other guys do the dirty work throughout the regular season. LeBron doesn't need to average 30 for us to be at our best. You know, if LeBron is, you know, 23, 24 points per game, it's just, if his points come down, but his assists go up, his three-point attempts go down, and his three-point percentage goes up, then that alone is a major impact on our season. And if 80s minutes can be can be not too high you know he he had a really great year last year i mean his highest scoring average in a while his rebounds i think were a career high you know if we can keep his minutes under control and then his defense can really really lock in and then he can you know have some energy for offense if all these other guys are contributing and that's where that age is going to come in so you got a guy like vanderbilt who gets his first full off season with coach phil handy and if he can just start to develop that corner three to go along with his defense on the perimeter and on the wing then that is a major upgrade for the Lakers this summer. They got him, you know, his defense, he impacted obviously last season. But if he can be a threat to at least make a shot on offense to where the defense can't just completely leave him alone in the corner, Lakers are a different team. Uh, we saw the growth of Rui. And again, another full, um, not another actually, but a full offseason with Coach Phil Handy. Uh, we saw what he did to, um, to his game after joining the Lakers last year. Uh, Phil Handy you know, deserves a lot of credit for that. So I'm really interested to see how Rui comes out of his summer and in the training camp and how he looks. The Lakers are posting all these pictures of all their guys on social media, and they're just looking in phenomenal shape 
And, you know, that, and they, the Lakers probably should stop posting these pictures so these guys don't get drug tested. But <laughs> but these guys look incredible shape. They're putting in the work. And I'm really, really excited. Um, training starts October 3rd. Media day is October 2nd. And I'm really excited to see how this team looks. Um, also, I'm curious to see what the Lakers can do with Cam Reddish. You know, I think he's, I know, I think teams are, uh, excuse me, I think players are a little unrealistic expecting this guy to, you know, potentially play big minutes or can, you know, like a high contributing role. I think he's going to have to earn that. you got guys like Max Christie, you know, um, they brought in Max Lewis, who they, who they really, really like. And, uh, you know, Cam is going to, it's going to be a battle for him to get in there and see, uh, you know, what type of minutes he'll be able to get. And when he does get them, he's got to take advantage of his opportunities. Uh, but I do like also the youth of um, Jackson Hayes, you know, being able to see him run the floor kind of in that Dwight role. I think that's how the Lakers see him, you know, to be able to get him at 23 years old and uh, him coming in kind of like on a make good deal. You know, I, you're going to see a lot of guys that are hungry on this Laker team uh, that are playing for their next contract. They're playing in the bright lights in L.A. They're playing for the Lakers organization. They're playing with LeBron James. Like there are so many things um, that can go right for this Laker team based off that. And I'm telling you, like, I really, really want to see these 2025s from this team. I want to see the the chemistry, the cohesiveness, that team bonding. And I think this year um, with Russ not there, and uh, I think this is something that could really happen with this team. I think the Lakers are a little concerned in the event of them adding Christian Wood and what that would do. But I think they got the right team here that could really counteract that if they were uh, two to add him. So, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you agree? Do you, are you happy with the age bracket of this team? Uh, do you think they should be a little older, a little younger? Uh, what young player are you looking to see play the most this season? And I'm interested in see what you say. But as always, uh, you can find me on Twitter at Empire Jeff underscore right here on YouTube uh, at Empire Jeff TV. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one.